Hi, I'm here to tell you all about the My Disney Experience app. This is the app that will really help you when you're planning your next vacation to Walt Disney World. You can download this app in the App Store. It's available on Apple products, Android, everywhere. But it is under My Disney Experience app. And there are multiple apps for each of the Disney parks worldwide. So make sure that you're downloading the correct one for Walt Disney World. Or if you want, you can be like me and download all of them so that you can check the wait times across the world while you're sitting at your couch at home. This app is where you will do a ton of things for your vacation. Like you can... <laughs> I'm sorry, my husband is dancing in front of me. This app is where you can do a ton of things for your Disney vacation. You can book your lightning lanes, you can see wait times, you can see a park map, you can find your car. It is great for everything. We will start with the home screen. On the home screen, you can see where you can click up here to purchase your Lightning Lane Multipass and Single Pass. You can do this seven days before your vacation. Once you click purchase, you go to the screen and pick the dates that you're gonna book for your vacation. From there, you will pick your park. Once you pick your park, you can see the Lightning Lane Single Passes, the Lightning Lane Multipasses, and the prices for everything. Other things you will see on your home page are any dining reservations that you might have coming up, like your next one. I have one here for Ogus Cantina. May or may not keep that. You can see your resort reservations. You can go to this part right here and you can see the park hours. Here's where you can click to join the virtual queue. So if you click the little map symbol, the symbol that looks like this, it will take you to the maps. Mine automatically opened up to the Magic Kingdom. I don't know if everyone's will open up to that or if it's just what I was looking at last, but you will see a map of the park. You can zoom out and see the other parks. You can zoom in to where you're gonna be at, what park you're gonna be at. And mine defaults to wait times, but there is a little carrot up here where you can change what's shown on your map. So you can see wait times, you can see attractions, you can see characters dining, entertainment. You can filter it just to see the bathrooms. It goes on and on what you can see. The middle symbol along the bottom is a plus sign symbol. When you click that, there are some more things that you can do. You can check your dining availability here. And that is where you're going to make your reservations, which you can make 60 days before your vacation. You can do your mobile orders here to order your food. So you can set up the time in the morning for even into the afternoon. And then when you get near the restaurant, there's a place you click and it says, I'm here. Click that and then they start making your food. That can save you a lot of time waiting in line. Especially love to use it with Casey's Corner and Magic Kingdom. There's also merchandise mobile checkout. Now this isn't necessarily available in every single store, but you can check while you're in the store and see if it's available. With this, you can go ahead and check out. You show them on your way out that you checked out and you don't have to wait in the line. It's great too with annual pass holders or if you have any type of discount because it automatically has it saved on your My Disney Experience app. So you already have that discount applied. You don't have to pull it up on your phone or anything. So I really do like that. Under that, you can purchase the Memory Maker. The Memory Maker is an add-on that you can add onto your Disney vacation where you can get access to all your pictures that are taken by the PhotoPass photographers and on the rides. I have a Memory Maker and I absolutely love it. Under that, you can buy tickets and passes. This is where you can buy standard tickets. You can buy tickets to special events like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party after hours. You can buy water park tickets. You can purchase your annual pass on this website. Below purchasing tickets is where you can make and modify your park reservations. Now, every ticket doesn't need a park reservation anymore, but some do, especially like me with an annual pass. I have to have a park reservation. So this is where you can do it. Below that is View My Genie Day and the tip board. Now, even though Genie Plus is gone, you can still click on this. It will give you the old tip board that was like with Genie Plus. You can purchase Lightning Lane from this as well, and also your day, and it will make suggestions to you like what you think is good. I like to plan my day before my vacation. So you go to the My Day, you go to Get Started Now, and then it opens up and asks you questions about some of your preferences and lets you plan your day. Then throughout the day, it can give you suggestions about things that it thinks you wanna do based on what you planned. So really helpful. If you keep go going along the bottom of the bar, you will see a little magnifying glass. 
this will bring you up a search thing. So you can search for things if you haven't seen them anywhere else on the app that you're trying to find. The next thing over is that three line symbol. I think some people call it a hamburger symbol because it's like a bun, a patty, a bun. I think of it like a three line equal sign. Um, I don't really know the official term, but that symbol is the next one. When you click that symbol, it will take you to this screen. On this screen, you will see some of that same things that I told you before. You can click to tickets and passes. You can link your tickets and passes here. It will show you your tickets and passes. You can click lightning lane passes to make lightning lane reservations. There's a big area to click for reserving dining, ordering food, and merchandise checkout. Sorry if you notice me kind of looking down at the app as I talk. As much as I use the app, I still don't have it completely memorized. So, um, Below that is a section that says My Visit, and it shows your wait times and show times, your plan for the day, you can look at your future plans for the rest of your vacation, hotel reservations, and that'll bring up your hotel and it'll show you that. You can go in there to find where your room is. You can start early check-in. That is really helpful. Below hotel reservations, again, is a button for virtual queue. When you click your virtual queue button, it'll show you what queues you have available. I have none available, so if I click join virtual queue, it will pop up with, currently right now there are two, Magic Kingdom and Epcot, and it will pull up the two tabs. And right now, there's no virtual queue to join, so I can't show you anything else with that, but that is where you do your virtual queue. So let's just talk about virtual queue for a minute. Virtual queue is a way that you can ride some of the most popular attractions in these parks. So right now for Magic Kingdom, it is Tiana's Bayou Adventure, and for Epcot is Garden of Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Now with the Magic Kingdom with Tiana's, you can also get it on Genie Multipass, which I highly recommend doing. Um, the virtual queue does not skip the line, it just actually lets you get in the line because those rides do not have a standby line. The Lightning Lane Multipass for Tiana's and the Lightning Lane Single Pass that you can buy for Cosmic Rewind tend to go a little bit faster than the virtual queue lines, so just keep that in mind. But the virtual queue lines are free. Your standard virtual queue times are 7 a.m. and 1 p.m., but there is occasionally an evening virtual queue if they're having extended deluxe resort guest hours, after hours, a party, something like that. Now, when I say 7 a.m., you want to be on your virtual queue and clicking the button exactly at 7 a.m. because these things can sell out quickly. Um, a lot of people will recommend pulling a world clock up on a different device and looking at it so that you know that you have the exact times. Some people will log in from multiple devices and have multiple people trying to get the virtual queue. I personally just get on it around like two to three minutes early and just keep hitting refresh, refresh, refresh until I get it and that seems to be pretty successful for me. But again, virtual queues are not guaranteed. If you do not get the virtual queue at 7 a.m., then you can try for the one at 1 p.m. You cannot do the virtual queue twice for the same ride in the same day. So I cannot do Tiana at seven and one. Um, the 1 p.m. virtual queues tend to be a little bit easier to get into. You still need to be on there right at one o'clock. And for those ones, you have to be in the park. Below the My Visit section, you will see the Disney Photo Pass section. This is where you can click to see your photo gallery, see all of your photos. You can see Photo Pass lenses. This is a special thing that you can do where you have different filters at Disney. Some are only available with the purchase of individual Lightning Lane and some are only available in certain parts of the park, but they are fun little filters that you can put on your photos. And then that's also, you can buy Memory Maker again here. Below that, you will see a section called Getting Around. And this is where you can do your car locator so that you can find your car in the parking lot. I've never personally used that because I've never had a car, but that is an option if you are driving to the parks to help you remember where you parked at. There is also a little thing for transportation and parking and it will pull up the map and have it filtered for transportation. Below that, you will see Plan My Visit. This is where you can buy tickets and passes, make park reservations again, and you can also see your park hours and info. So right here is a calendar where you can see your park hours. Below that, you have your account portion. This is where you see your profile. You can link accounts so you can have your friends on there. I love having my account linked with my friends because I can look at their Disney photos 
to. We can see what each other are doing. It's just so much fun. Um, here you can link your magic bands and your cards and you can set up Magic Mobile. And that's where you can get into your hotel room with your phone. Below that is a help and feedback section. Here you can do help, you can chat with people, accessibility and health services. This is really cool. You can do cast compliments. So if you're in the park and a cast member pixie dusts you or does something special, you can write them a compliment right here. I love being able to do this to acknowledge a cast member that's extra magical. Um, and then of course there is a log out at the very bottom. Hopefully this helps you with planning your day and using the My Disney Experience app. If you found it helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and watch some of my other videos where I tell you all about Disney and how you can plan your days at Disney.